sit low with them fly ass chicks who paint them pretty ass lips. With them trap boys out doubling up on bricks. For musicians like myself that was blessed with a glitch. Rap with a pack and see what it is. Swerve with the traffic like I lost control of the whip. Heard the competition like I ran over these bricks. Double lines mean nothing when you're hugging the bridge. Let me get all this stuff together. Let me start off with my first, first slide of the day. As we usually do, we usually talk our ish around here. But um, let's just talk about this right here. Let's just talk about this right here. Let me let, let me let me see what y'all think about these great players right here. All of them great. Shout out to my boy Sean Taylor. Sean Taylor only played four seasons. That oh, that. <clears throat> that's a hurt break. That is a hurt break. Is that Andrew Luck? Yeah, that's Luck. Keekly? Keekly done? Keekly done done. Oh man. Duh. Carl Davis, man, see some hitters on this list. Bo Jack, right Bo there. No, yeah, I was say you, you, you know it. Listen, listen, you know I was about to say something about the goat, man. You know, I, I got, I got special places for special players, man. He won my place. And a, a lot of people, you know, some a lot of people slept on uh, Sterling Sharp, man. And Sterling Sharp was a dog. Sterling Sharp was the listen. Sterling Sharp was very nice. <clears throat> and a lot of people slept on Sterling Sharp, man. That's why I always Who is that? I mean, I, you know, I'm not too good on the Green Bay history. Who is that? Donald Driver or Bubba Frank? Oh, that's Sterling Sharp. That's Sterling Sharp. Okay. okay. Right. I can't see from the signing. All I see is 84 and the Green Bay. Jersey. Sterling Sharp. And the first <sighs> one is Bo Jackson. The second one is Barry Sanders. Then you got Pat Tillman, who uh, lost his life in the Army. You know, um... You got Sean Taylor who lost his life to a robbery. You got I thought, his, I, thought his, I thought his girl did that. That's his, uh, his sister had a party, uh -huh. and the dudes went, went back to his house, broke in, and it went down. I thought uh -huh. they was I thought they was the same dudes that used to clean the lawn, and they tried to get. You know, I heard a different story. So the, all I know is. They they, they, knew, they knew where the money was at. They tried to get the Sean Taylor. All he had was a knife, and they, they came in and they shot him in the leg. But they shot him in the main artery, and that's how he passed away. That, oh, was, that was corny. That was his sister, France. Oh. Andrew like Luck, that. he quit last season, a couple days before the season start. Messed the coats all the way up. Um, Jim Brown. He still, didn't, he still didn't have a bad season, though. Jim, uh -huh. Jim Brown would, uh, you know, he he played as hard as he could. He he was done to that. <clears throat> Terrell Davis, the way I feel about Terrell Davis is the same way I feel that um we're gonna be talking about Ty Gurley. I feel the same exact way. Like they, I don't, I know, I don't think, I don't him. think Ty Gurley runs as reckless as uh, Terrell Davis. Does. Um, Gail Sayers. <clears throat> Problem. I think Gail Sayers went through. He had he had to get a knee replacement or something. Or did he tear his ACL? And back then the technology wasn't as good as it is now. So that's well, why. He no. Had the season ended early. What did happened like with four or five him? What happened with Gail Sayers? They found out he got some kind of blood disease. Oh okay. I think that was later on though. <clears throat> I did tell you what I read. Yeah. And. He had some kind of disease and stuff like that in his blood and stuff. So yeah, uh, they said Megatron and Adult said Megatron and Patrick Willis retired too early too. Yeah, Luke Keekley kept going through those concussions. So yeah, and I I hate the Panthers, but he was a good linebacker. Right. The those concussions they. And um, Sterling Shepard suffered a neck injury. But I got to go with Bo Jackson, man. You going Bo Jackson? I go on with Bo. So <clears throat> what was the question that you asked? Uh, which one do you feel as though, you know, really ended too early? I'm going to have to say it was Sean Taylor. Um, just to have a different pick than you two, I'm going to say Barry. And my my reasoning for Barry would be 
could you believe would you be able to touch the records that he would have had set if he would have kept playing? Say that again. Would you have been able to touch the records that Barry would have put up had he kept playing? Uh, does, Barry, uh, does Barry does Barry <clears throat> does Barry eventually <clears throat> go to a new team? No. You don't think you don't think Barry gets out of that deal? It's not that it's because let be honest, Detroit don't never let nobody lead that team unless you retire. Yes or no? And Blaze mm-hmm. said, since he was, sends our apologies to Bo Jackson, and Yuri said, don't look like Keekly was going to last very long due to the injuries. Uh, Blaze also said, since Cincinnati hurt by Jackson, we have been cursed. Uh, Marcus Betts in the building was going to Marcus Betts. Andre the Torch said, please mute the special guest, Mike. Carolina history or Green Bay history, Sterling Sharp. He talking about you. Uh, I'm not paying Andre no mind. He's a, that's, but, a, that's some homer. That's some homer stuff to say. But what I'm saying is Detroit. You're the only you and the rest of the Green fan, Green Bay fans, are the only ones that like the offense. But. but Detroit don't never let nobody leave for another team. Yes or no? Madame Gasu. Yeah. Okay. That one person. Keandre. Who? Was it then? Didn't Drake start on the Lions too? The running back before he got to Miami? No, I think he started on Miami. I think he it started on Miami. Miami. Ramona said what? Ryan Switzer should be on that list. <clears throat> Roy Williams. Right, here's the question, one. man. Here's the question. Uh, Which QB got the most improve, prove, most pressure to perform in 2020? Can I go? Please let me go. Go ahead, brother. Right. I got two of them. Mm hmm. I got Drew Brees, mm. and I got Tom Brady. Okay, the two oldest walk of walk okay. mm. The reason I got Tom Brady, can he do it without Bill Belichick in New England? Bill Belichick. Okay. And Drew Brees, for the comments he made, mm. this, you know, with all this going on in the world and stuff. Mm-hmm. That's why I would say that. Go ahead, Dennis. I'll go last on this one. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm not gonna say it. I'm, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go Baker Mayfield because you know I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt for what happened last season. And I wanna see better from you and with you still having two number one wide receivers. <clears throat> They're going out there and performing. I'm gonna let you go. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna go with the two youngest on the list. One Baker Mayfield because the Browns offense where he plays that I'm not gonna get on the defense, but where Baker Mayfield plays that, it should be no excuse on why he doesn't make the playoffs or even be a contender to do something really special with that team. Um, and of course the Coda Prescott. You don't do all of this about getting paid. You don't do all of this to come back the next year and get booted in the first round of the playoffs or don't make the playoffs at all. That's a lot of pressure riding on Prescott in that contract. Yeah, you you're asking for top quarterback money, and then it's time to it's time to play like top quarterback. Yuri Yuri said Aaron Rodgers and Dak Prescott. Um Ramona said Tom Brady. Um, Marcus said Baker Mayfield. Ramona said Baker Mayfield. Um, Marcus said Big Ben and Phillip Rivers. Dalton said Tom Brady and Baker Mayfield. Donovan said, what's up, I'm at work. I'm trying to talk my ish from the comments, especially since Sean Showtime Jackson is on and we almost never agree. Okay. Ramona said, uh, comments have nothing to do with play. Brees did quite well when he came back last season. I don't think that team missed a beat last season, Ramina, Ram- Ramona, mm. with, without Drew Brees. I'm going to say this. Didn't, didn't miss a beat. They did in the first this. game. They did in the first is, uh, game. Every game in the first three games? Game. No, in the first is game. They, 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 they played horrible in the first game, and then the next the next three games they killed. 
To me personally, there's no quarterback on this list besides Baker Mayfield and Prescott who's not already going to the Hall of Fame. So I don't feel like a quarterback already that's already first ballot Hall of Fame, all depending on when they retire, has anything to prove. You have nothing left. You're just playing football at this point because you can still play. What's up, Fred? Like, nobody expected Drew Brees, Aaron Rodgers, or Tom Brady to go out and win an MVP next year. Nobody's expecting them to go. Maybe Tom Brady more. more I, than I expect Aaron Rodgers and Tom Brady. I don't think Drew Brees will ever win MVP. I, to be I honest. Expect, I expect Aaron Rodgers to be on a different team next year. <laughs> make, yo, make no mistake about it. Uh, I Drew, think, Brees, Drew Brees could win the MVP next year. To be honest. Yeah. I think it would take Tom Brady a year to get on the same page with his head coach. I don't think I so. Don't. I don't. I doubt that. I don't think so. Have I you, doubt been, that have you been in the NFL that long? But you know, you know exactly what it takes to get to where you need to be at. But Plus this is the different fact that, he, thing. that he's been to. I want to say he's been to the Super Bowl nine. Is it nine or eight times? Eight, eight. eight times? No. Mm-hmm. He got six only... rings and he lost three. It's nine. No, he lost twice. He lost twice. Oh, no, he lost, he lost, he lost it. You're right, you're right. I'll be forgetting. I'll be, I'm thinking the teams, not times. It is not. You're right. Uh, he, I mean, I just think there's a new scheme and everything. Nah. Let me nah, tell you I something about he, Brady, I man. He, uh, I think he let Brady LeBron his way to this situation. Yeah, I said that he LeBron his way to this situation to make sure that everything nah. that he does be good. Absolutely not. This is not the LeBron not. situation. Uh, how you put them? How you put them two in the same? In that's the same what I said. This is nothing like the LeBron situation. But once you go to a new team, you get everything exactly that you want. Yo, Tom did everything that the organization has ever. Yo, Tom but, did everything that the organization has ever no, asked no, no, him no. to I, do. I was, I'm just talking about him going to this new team. I'm not talking about. Yeah, but he I'm didn't with... debo his way out of New England. He was forced out. Right, mm-hmm. they never, they never been forced out of nowhere. But when he got to his new team, mm-hmm. he One made sure he had that. everything. Yo, if, if, if he, if anything, he Montana his way out of, out of there. He didn't look well, no, on way. Montana was kind of forced out. Exactly. So was Brady. So was, so Brady. was Brady. I don't think Brady was forced and, out. And, and then they, was... they both got forced out because of finances and and up and coming. Well, 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 Montana got forced out because they already had the heir apparent. Right, they don't have the heir apparent in, in New England. That's what but, I was thinking. Right. But, well, but, 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 well, but Tom Brady has know. almost been forced out of there twice, bro. Twice. Yeah. And 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 both times they was wrong. Uh, uh, uh I don't know about that. I, okay. I think I think I think in the case of the Jimmy D situation, they were they were justified and, and correct in trying to get Tom to like I would have loved to see Tom at, let me let me just say this. Everybody wins if Tom goes to San Francisco instead of Jimmy G. Right. Everybody uh, wins. Because if Tom goes to San Francisco, they win the chip. I don't know. And, you Bel- and, Bel- and, and Belichick gets to keep his guy, and then we actually get to see if it was Tom or if it was Belichick. I don't know. Even the fans win if, if Tom goes to San Fran. Okay. Well, tell me which duo you like the best. Uh, well, let me see. I'm gonna read these comments while y'all think about it. Hold on, hold on. What's the What's the criteria on, on the right? That's what <laughs> yeah, I'm wait, hold on, wait, wait. Well, well, I'm I'm not, not, you're not, you're not about, you not about, you not about, you not about to slip this in like it's a no condom. <laughs> <It's> crazy, <laughs> like these, I'm looking at these duos, like you know what? I want to know. You are not about to do that, no, sir. You uh, about okay, to let me crazy. let me ask you a question because I you ask I didn't, you asking I didn't which quarterback of... running back duo can run the ball the best, or are you asking like what are you? I'm asking. Who's gonna I'm get the rushing you, the best rushing yard? Out of these the duos, uh, listen, I'm asking you this. Out of these three duos, who which one of these three duos are you picking to start your franchise? That's the criteria. Oh, oh, that's that's oh. easy. Yeah, that's I'm going easy. Watson and Barkley. Yeah, I'm going Watson and Barkley. That's easy. I go and C. I'm I'm going B. What? I'm going B. Okay. So oh. So I first of all, what's love, the, y'all know so, I so, love Christian McCaffrey, and y'all yeah, know, we know you love, love you love Prescott. Yeah, we know. Yeah, but yeah. but you love Dakota better than either one of these two. 
I love Christian McCaffrey better than Barkley. No, 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 no. That's not what I asked you. Stop, I, stop no, no, diverting. I'm telling stop you, bro, diverting. I'm telling Answer the no, no, question no, no. that I asked. You got to pick a whole duo. If you're going to talk your this. ish, then talk your ish in the manner I'm, that I got And I got to explain, and I got to explain why. It's, it's a duo. is not a single. I know, but I'm asking for a reason. Do you like Dakota better than Mahomes or Watson? No. Then you're going to be disappointed when C-Max steroid usage gets put on front. Well, it's not gonna get put on. Front. I believe. I believe right. Dakota. Wait, All right. Hold on. Soon, me, soon, soon as they, soon as they, believe, soon as they get with the biochemists Dakota. and they and they come out with the new list this year, I'm telling you, it's gonna be a problem. I, you think CMC on roids? I don't think he's on ro- like traditional roids. I think he's on. I think he's on performance enhan- enhancing oh. supplements that will be a part of the next list. He's on. Zion or- Williamson. He's on organic. <laughs> like like LeBron. No, no, you didn't hear me. <clears throat> No, no, I heard you. I'm, I'm keeping it. I'm keeping it. I'm keeping it to the growth. And Zion I'm Williamson. Yeah, Zion Williamson. Well, no, I, 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 so I, so you know, I went to school in Orangeburg. I actually, we, we actually saw Zion. He's always been like that. He's What's a freak. I mean, I've seen him since eighth grade too. But <laughs> he's on, uh, he's on some stuff. Yeah, huh? Doesn't show up this year. He's getting replaced. And what was it? What was your contingency clause, Dennis? What you mean, my contingency clause? I'm about sorry. about what? What does oh, yeah, yeah. to do? What, what did C Mac have to do with your with your with your cho- with your choice of B? I like C Mac over Barkley and Jones. You like C Mac better than Barkley? I like C Mac over Barkley and Jones. Is it I, because I like is, is it is it because of durability? No, I, I was I like C Mac since college. I so my my thing is is it a, I, is it I like C Mac in college. I wasn't I, I wasn't hype on Barkley. In college, so, you, I, I was. I don't. I have I no idea how you were not. Um, I was heavily I was. high on Dennis Barkley. Barkley. I like Read the comments, period. bro. Let, let me I ask like you one question. Let me ask you one quick question. Oh, I hit the button since 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 Barkley left Penn State. Right. What have they done of any significance pushing towards a national championship? Oh, you got to remember the quarterback left too. Since Barkley left Penn State, but the quarterback left too. That's what I'm trying to say. Like you got to put that back. Wasn't that good? You though. act, you act like they didn't have. Good. You act like they didn't have a. Yes, yes, he was. Yeah, he was good. Yeah, 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 he was. Yeah, yeah, he was. Yeah, yeah, he was. Yeah, yeah, he was. Think about it. I don't think it was that good. Like somebody, somebody's gonna go get him from from off the Ravens. Yeah, 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 yeah. And make him a nice backup. He was good. I'm. I'm not. I'm not. What I'm saying is that's what I'm saying. Towards, but see, pushing that's not a, a that's not a fair assessment right there because they both left. Pushing towards a national they not no nobody's going okay. Listen, they're not pushing to a national championship. They haven't done nothing since Barkley left. Okay. okay. That's that's all that's I gotta what you say. Want to hear. All right. Because because you act like they didn't you, you act like that you look you act like the heir apparent at, at Penn State was not a top one hundred. What I'm saying is, oh, okay. my favorites are Christian McCaffrey, Dakota Prescott. So that's bias. You say that's, you that's, admitting that you meant that's yeah, bias. I, I said you started a franchise. It's my franchise. I'm so that you bias led then. Right. So, 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 so you so don't you look. don't want players that's gonna do do don't do the good work. You just want the, the crazy thing the is, I like Barkley, but I like Christian McCaffrey over. I, you, I I understand that, but but. You are you putting Dak is he better off? in the conversation with with Mr. Watson? Hold on, wait, oh wait. my, yeah, oh. I'm putting Dak oh. Prescott in the conversation with oh. Watson. Oh, oh, why not? Watson even had, with my Watson own, a better okay. wide receiver. Court. All right, all right. Let me let me lay this out for you. Wait a minute. Even me, my own. I'm, 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 I ain't I'm saying nothing about no, no. Well, well, let's not even talk about my homes because Mr. Mahomes, Mr. 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 Jones, Watson. Mr. Jones oh. takes days. We going on the top. We going on the trail of Texas right now. Okay, so that's what we doing. If we if we doing it if we keep it in a buck, right? Can Dak Prescott make all the NFL throws? No, specific, but but oh, has oh, there been oh, quarterbacks? Oh, wait, 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 just wait, just give me a second. You said, oh, wait, all, wait. Now we did we get the game detail about all these throws? But this is my quarterback. We're not, we're not, I ain't worried about what Dennis talking about. This this is my quarterback. What you now? What what? what okay, you can about? he can he make the elite NFL throws? I'm gonna give you the three that I'm talking about because it's it's, uh-huh. it's it's three specific ones that I'm talking about. I'm talking about I'm talking about the skinny post. I'm talking about the corner post, and I'm talking about the 15 to 18 yard out. Is he making yeah. those throws with with any levels of consistency? 
without yeah. uh okay. So 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 the scouting report on Dak okay. is push Dak to the outside of the field. Am I right? That's the scouting report. That's yeah, the scouting I, report, right? Yeah. So it's that a, it's a reason if you have that, a scouting though. report on a quarterback that lists downfalls that don't talk about like because I think everybody has telegraphing issues or tendencies. When you have a scouting report that lists shortcomings that involve those throws, then you start talking about arm strength and consistency. That is something that Deshaun does not have an issue with ever. No, so when I talk about putting him in the conversation, I got one better for you. I believe either. Deshaun had better wide receiving core until uh-huh. last year's deck wide receiving core. I'm on, though. No. Hold, 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 yeah. hold on, hold on. Excuse me one second. I guess that's it. <laughs> the call's getting on his name. <laughs> until the deck wide receiving core of last year, I believe Dak Prescott always had the better offensive line and running back. I won't know where he put I'm gonna tell up. you. I will tell you like this. I feel like Prescott is the better quarterback under pressure. No. We'll how how do you say that me. when – when I, can you name I mean, a play he, that Deshaun's not under pressure? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. He don't have – Not a game, a play. <laughs> but I'm saying like <laughs> – like, But we witnessed – like we did witness a rookie in Dak Prescott be down 28 – three in the playoffs and he battled back and had one of the best games that we've seen in that playoffs. And Agreed. that was his first time ever being there. Agree. How many, how many, I'm glad you brought this up. This is, this is monumental. Who'd y'all play against? Number one. Green Bay. The, the, mm-hmm. the Packers. Uh, okay. And how many yards does Zeke have? A lot. A, a lot. I mean, they, and, you know, they and, stopped and, running and, them though. Yeah. You know they yeah, stopped they running, running them because that got hot. That got that got oh, scorching hot. I think it was scorching. seventeen in a row, right? Wasn't it seventeen scorching. in a row? <laughs> he scorching. threw seventeen yeah. passes mm-hmm. in a row completion, mm-hmm. which was which was spectacular. That's crazy. That's crazy. Everybody gets in the zone, though. I mean, a broke clock is right twice a day. You my know what question else? Is, though? My question is, you know what happens next week? Broke clocks play in Chicago. You know, you, you know correct. what else? You know what else we got to worry about? You know what else we got to worry about with Dak Prescott? What's that? I can't get hurt. <laughs> you know why? Because y'all have the best <laughs> offensive line in football. I mean, but you know what's crazy? He's already and this is the second him. time. This is the second Wait. time. No, this is the third time in your franchise history where you've had the best offensive line in football. But you know, he's also been one of the most hit quarterbacks in the league, though. That's because he holds on to the ball too long. And, nah. and, I, and, and what I'm going to say is this if you switch Dak Prescott with Deshaun Watson, does Dallas already have a Super Bowl? And yes, does, Houston, no. does Houston even make yes. the playoffs? Let me let me Dallas tell you something. Let me, let me tell you something. Let Bowl. me tell you something. As long as Jason Garrett is coaching, I don't give a fuck who you play at quarterback. You oh, can go get Dan Marino. I will. I will. You can go get you. whoever. I don't care who plays quarterback. The Cowboys would not win no Super Bowls as long as Jason Garrett is coaching. He had two different quarterbacks with two different thirteen and three records with two different good teams. No. I don't care who is quarterbacking. You can go get Peyton but Manning. You, but you can Brady, agree no that uh, that that you can at least agree that uh, that Deshaun Watson wouldn't have dropped the uh, the snap that would have put them in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he dropped the snap. Oh, oh, me, Tony Romo blew it after all that work. I'm going to tell you what happened. In, in the let words of, hold on, let me get this out. In the words of my dad, who's a diehard Cowboys fan, if that was not the slipperiest football I've ever Listen, seen in my life. Listen, that's what I was about to tell you. The ball boy was, was, was just dumping the baby oil on that drone before they were just- you know what I'm saying? The ball boy. He's like, if the that wasn't the slipperiest football you've ever seen in your you life. You can tell it was slippery. He couldn't even get it. It's, Fuck, it's a going baby going. <laughs> I'm just, just going to run. I can't even put it down. I'm just going to run. No, he was doing sign language with the boss. Hold on, man. Let me read these comments. Let me read these comments. All right. Um, boss, said, I think Tom would be fine. Blaze says C. Andre the Torch Robinson said, wow. Yuri says C. Uh... Ramona said, I don't believe McCaffrey's on anything. Yuri says, start Mahomes and Jones over the same team. It would be over. Uh, how in the world the Penn State quarterback, not good, but they had receiving prospects in the draft. Dak is a backup with that, without that O-line. What? Like, you tripping. 
Um, <laughs> now we're now we're overstepping boundaries. <laughs> now we're going too far. <laughs> Let's relax, guys. Bring it back a little. He's definitely, he's definitely better than my quarterback. That's for sure. <laughs> oh, no, no, too. Don't, talk, don't talk about my AP player. That hold on, hold on. Ramona, Ramona <laughs> said the hell with the duo is a bunch of BS. We had Ben Brown and Bell. Duos don't mean us. Um, Blaze said Andy Dalton could have had 28 TDs and 14 interceptions with that squad. I bet he, he, bet he would throw 14 interceptions with his bum. Anyway, Ramona said facts. Uh, Andre said wrong. That was the 28th least QB hit last year. Uh, Marcus Bay said last year. Is the backup. He didn't say last year. He said he said since he, started, since he, he said since he became a starter. <laughs> yes, he's been one of the most hit quarterbacks. Uh, Especially what was that two years ago? The y'all full of down and the Falcons just was killing when y'all them. when y'all started the season without Zeke. Yeah, he took a pop. Oh man, do y'all oh, feel as though anybody is missing off this list? Of uh, the list you got up now, off the off the uh, under twenty five offensive players. Yeah, I don't know where Zeke Elliott. I don't know. Uh, Zeke Elliott, I think is over twenty five. Yeah, no, Zeke, he's not. I think I think Zeke is twenty five. Gotta be like twenty six or something. Like that. Zeke is younger than me, man. That that'll make him twenty six. No, I, just because I said he's younger than me, don't mean. <laughs> I hate that. Uh, gotta make him twenty six. Just to let you All know. Right, let me look up Zeke age real quick, but I think Zeke should yeah, be. Yeah, Zeke is 25 on a dot. I think Zeke oh, no, no, is 28 Zeke or 27. Turning, Zeke, Zeke turns 25 on July 22nd, so okay, technically, he, yeah. technically he qualifies. Technically, thank you very much. Technically, okay. he qualifies. Well, so you think Zeke belongs on this? Who else do you think belongs? So wait a minute, how old is that? Huh? How old is that? I know. I think Dak's 26. Like, I think Dak's 26. I know Carson Wentz is 27. I know that. I think Dak is 26. Let me see. Uh, is, yeah, 26. Dag is born in 1993. He's a couple months younger than me. Yeah. So 26. Uh, mm. July, his birthday, July 29th. I got to go to court. I, I, Don't personally, about that. I uh, personally feel, uh, let me, let me look at this list one more time. Uh, Frederick said, no matter how old Zeke is, ain't no room for him on that list. Child. What? Andre said 2018 he was second, 2017 he was 16, and he was 21st. He just said Ezekiel Elliott number one on his list. What? Andre Robinson He's said, better, again. better than every 49 running back you got on your, on your roster. What you talking about? Mm. Fred, Frederick? <coughs> Sound like some other in the feeling. Anybody listen? I don't listen. My man led the league in rushing two I'm or not three years. About you. He I'm it, about and he would have did it three out of three years had he not had to do that for nothing suspension. Let's be real. I talk about Frederick. So, no receivers on this joint. So, so we not putting, um, so we not putting uh, Quinn Nelson on there. Quentin Nelson deserves it most definitely, man. You're not putting Chris Godwin on there. Ah, uh, I don't think that's Michael, what I was picking. Give Michael me Gallup. Give uh, me he deserves to be on there. Chris Godwin, you got to put Michael Gallup. I believe Michael Gallup. He deserves uh, to be on there. So give me another one. Uh, uh, I'm I know I'm putting Chris Godwin on there because of, if if for nothing else for life. Is that wait wait wait? So is that the, did Chris Godwin play with Saquon Bartley? Yeah. Uh, and their quarterback was Mache McShea, Yeah, yes. That's when they went to the. That's when they went for the national championship. I just, I just wanted to make sure. So that was like a stacked team. Then the next year they just Super had a stack. So the next Super year they had Miles Sanders, huh? Just, just, the, just Miles Sanders. So, so you got a little stacked team over there. You got Chris Godwin. Uh, Miles Mich- Sanders ain't the only person they had. Who they had on defense, Dennis? Okay, yeah, you right. Okay, that's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so but then, but uh, yeah, we're not gonna play these games. <laughs> okay, okay, I did that for a reason. So now <laughs> let's go to Stanford. Who oh, played for Stanford? I don't remember nobody since Richard Sherman. No, 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 no. C Mac played for Stanford. Oh, oh yeah. Andrew Luck played for Stanford. No, no, no. I'm talking about him by himself at that time. Oh god. Oh, there you go. Uh, all right. Well, yeah. There you go. Guys. He was missing. Anyway. So we so not put Nick, so, so we not put we not put we we not putting Nick Chubb on this list. 
I gotta ask him a question. I really gotta ask him a question. You got to put. I got to ask you a question. Right? Let me hear. It. Is Patrick Mahomes on the list either? Oh, no, either. I, see one. I see him. 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 Um. So in your heart of heart, is CMC better than Saquon Barkley? Uh, talent wise. No, don't give no. me talent shit. Get the answer the question. Productivity. Yeah. Yeah. So so no, so no, so now no, Dennis. That's not what so, I'm so now don't try to Dennis decides to play my game and yeah, go to I, yeah, and yo. If you're right, gonna play right, the, the game, making. if you're no. gonna play the game, make it universal and ask for the criteria, bro. Don't don't right. don't, don't, don't cater no. your answer my question. Don't <laughs> don't categorize my question. I ask I don't try to though. dictate the criteria. Just say I always I always felt as though Christian McCaffrey to me. Is the best running back in the, the who? You think oh, Christian no. McCaffrey is the best running back in football the best right running now? Running back in football. Wow. And I've always been high on Christian McCaffrey too. I'm not gonna lie. See, Mike, I've always been high on him. I'm, I'm not gonna front. Uh, my boy D. Burt, shout out to the Fresh Perspective. My boy D. Burt has been extremely high on C. Mac, but we all we all have been in agreement behind closed doors that the that the biochemist that is on his staff is funneling some things in, 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 in that blood work. That's too much for me. Um, I, I, I hear all you. All right, let's, let's get these wide receivers together that we had on the office. <laughs> yo, we, <laughs> yo, I don't remember about no people biochemist. love to avoid this conversation. I've of never – Yes, they do. Let me I give, think a, shout to, let me give a shout out to the – I, I, I do too, but I think that I, Adrian I, Peterson's about, stuff about that he was on was very similar to what Peyton Manning was doing. Bro, there's but, nothing wrong – there is nothing wrong with rehabilitatory advantages. Oh, nothing gosh. at all. Yes, it is. No, it's not. But no, we can not. talk about that one time. Because if that's sure. the case, if that's the case, guy rest his soul. Bruh, Kobe left the country to go rehab. People, don't leave, shots in his people don't leave it. Ex- shots. But bro, I feel like that's a little bit different than you know. You uh, you leave the country because certain things in the in the U.S. that are illegal y'all, y'all just added are Sharon no longer this, legal. This, 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 this. I, 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 certain things are uh, in the U.S. that are illegal are no longer illegal in other countries. So there's no need to put you on a on, on a record. No need to put you in a database because it's <clears throat> it's it's basically a lot of stuff over there is over the counter. I do think I didn't think you know. You know what it is, and I'm going to tell you what it is, Stanfield. Anytime I look at a highlight and you got a dark visor on and I can still see the whites in your eyes while you running, oh, you want Roy. You went Lawrence Taylor on him? Okay. <laughs> Listen. All right. You remember how AP <laughs> used to be running like the year after he tore his ACL, come back in five months? Come on, don't tell me that wasn't Roy. And then with, <laughs> and then with eight yards off the record. Yeah, yeah, to the next one. We gotta get we gotta get we gotta get three running backs in here. Let's get three running backs in here and right. then we then we go to okay. the next one. I well know, we know we know the three running backs. Wide receivers. We got three running backs, we got three quarterbacks. Let's get three wide receivers in. We here. got the three wide receivers already. Michael, Who's Gallup, the third one? Gallup. Michael Gallup, uh Michael Gallup, DJ Moore, and um Chris and, 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 and Chris uh Godwin. So mm-hmm. what about Galladay? What about your boy Galladay? How old is Galladay? Galladay is twenty six, if I'm not mistaken. I, I, I don't tried think. To put, I don't I tried to put, All right, moving on to the next. You still when I mentioned uh, Cooper Cup. Top twenty five defensive 26. players under the age of twenty five. <laughs> <laughs> <Yo, hold on. laughs> Let me read these comments. About your boy Cooper Cup. Moving on to the racial news within the NFL. Uh, Andre said, Marcus, get your man. Marcus said, what's the Zoom? Joshua Marcus said, is in here. Marcus is in here. here. I know you in. Uh, Andre said, Cowboy fans kill me. Uh, Cup Sharon, 27. Hey, Sharon, you're a prisoner of the moment. McCaffrey is not the best running back in the NFL. Sharon, these are my opinions. Sharon. Just like yeah, you stick with opinions until you die. I'm sticking no. with them. They are no, your opinions, saying. and they, they definitely so, your she said, I'm lying on crack. That's what she said. You what? Uh, Marcus said, how was Zeke not on his list? That's what Sharon I'm said that he should be. Dre said, shaking my head. Sharon said, uh. Aaron Jones ain't supposed to be on his list. We know that. That is what we know. Well, I was only going to get three of each. So we were trying to get three wide receivers to go Zeke on. Zeke should definitely be on the list. But Cooper Cup is 27. You hear me, Dennis? 
Oh, all right, cool. Man. Way too old to be on this list Way and not good enough. But anyway, I think Cooper Cup, is. Cooper Cup, I don't care if he was 35. He shouldn't be on the list because he sucks. <laughs> no, he don't. He don't suck. He had a good. You're season, right. You're man. right. But he does swallow. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> All, right. <laughs> All right, we got to get, got to get this together right here. You already know. Oh I was say goodness! Look at that guy, number ninety-five. I wonder where he played. <laughs> <laughs> that Texas, that, that Texas standard. Yeah, it's a lot. Ooh. It's a lot. It's a lot of players missing on this. Dante, Donnie Mac, what's up, Jessica? What's hey. going on? Hey, hey, let's hey! Start, number, let's start hey, with Trey hey, White. Just, just out of curiosity. Just out of hey, pure curiosity. Hey, you coming right before, in, saying Zeke? Be, be, before, no, no. Before we, before we go there, just out of pure curiosity, that guy in the Indianapolis, Jim in the Indianapolis coat uniform, where did he go to school? Because it seems like it's an under underappreciated university that he attended. I'm just uh, just curious. I don't think nobody. Cares. I think he went to the same school as you. I think so too. <laughs> that was like South Carolina State University, the South Carolina State University. No, no, home no, of no. the home, home of the only Bulldogs that exist. Hold on, anyway, uh, on. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that was a shot at twenty-eight to three. Shout out to you, uh, uh, <laughs> Nick Bosa. Nick Bosa, baby. I'm lucky we on I'm these. Sorry, airways, I think Nick Bosa I'm lucky we list. on these airways. I think Nick Bosa needs to be the third D in here. Okay, I agree with that. Now we need three. Where is Roquan Smith? If we got, okay, Ro- I'll give you Roquan, but I think as hold as hold as the Wolfpack. Oh, good question. Leighton Van Der Esch? Yeah, hold as Van Der Esch. I think he Van Der Esch is, to be there. I think Van Der Esch is one year old, one year too old to be on this. Look, look, look what? It up. I think Jalen Smith can go though. No, 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 no. He's Ricky Bobby, what's 24. up? Van Der Esch is twenty four. He just turned twenty four February eighth. He's born ninety six. Okay, so, so, so it is Van Der Esch. It is Vander. What about, about Jalen Smith? No, Jalen Smith. How old is he? Uh, he's he's twenty five. He's twenty five. He's twenty five. He's twenty five. Bradley Chubb. Bradley Chubb. Bradley, Bradley Chubb was hurt last year. You know what I'm yeah, saying? No, but it, yeah, but in this joint, he would be an edge, and we already got three edges. So it's line linebackers and defensive backs, not separated by corner and safety, not separated by outside linebacker, inside linebacker. It's literally. Oh, well, does the Tredavious White? Wait a minute. Darius Leonard only twenty four. He looked yeah. like he about forty. Yeah, well, that's what happened. Hey, why don't South you, why don't you mind your business? That's what happened when you talk about the South, South Carolina State's State best. University. All right, <laughs> they all look old. Mind your business, oh, you, you, Philly, you, you, you Philly based Dallas, Dallas fan, you jerk. <laughs> look, <laughs> at least you didn't call me a Philly fan. I'm the Yo, guy. anybody who likes the Cowboys sucks in life. Oh damn! Hey, Marcus. Uh, I only said you that know, because I only said that because my wife is a Cowboys fan and she's probably going to hit me. So yeah, you know LeBron James. LeBron James is also a Cowboys fan. Just putting that out there. LeBron James is not a Cowboys fan. LeBron James is a, a fan of whoever's winning because Being he the fact can. that you a Cowboys, <laughs> Cowboys fan, you a Bears fan. Last year, did y'all have like a secret bet going on? You know, whatever team lose, well, you know, loses had to uh, uh, treat the time time. Time to shine. Time to shine. Time to shine. Question. Time to shine. Question. I, 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 I see that one. He's going, he going crazy. Yeah. You um, know. You know who the best player that that is that should be listed on here that is not on here. Who's that? Hmm. Cooper Cup. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Yo to the you know. if, if, if there's anybody that get that garners an, uh, uh, a ton no, of turnovers, it's Mr. Cup. Who's, you know, who's, really. Who's, you know who I think really could play cornerback. Are there not any? What? What's that? Uh, are there no, not any anywhere. defensive tack? Are there not any defensive tackles inside uh, interior defensive tackles? We, there's none under under twenty five. That that we're. I like I like Ed Oliver, and I like uh, Quentin Williams. I like Ed Oliver, but I wouldn't put him on this list as a defensive tackle under twenty five. Yeah, I would not put him on this list. You got you got somebody better under twenty five. Uh, you look under twenty five. That's that's the how about, those, how, about them, how about those boys from uh the Redskins? When you when you, I think when that you put, when, when you put when you put Nick Bosa up there, I said Nick yeah, Bosa. I, on the edge. I, I said you I said Nick Bosa from the door. You got you got you got Joey. You got Nick. And uh, no, Joey's over twenty five. They gotta be. Oh yeah, both of them are ages. I'm talking about. Are there any superstar? 
interior. No, Joey's twenty four. Look, look at look. No, 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 are there any Joey's superstar? There. Are there any superstar? What Marcus? Interior defensive lineman that we that we hold in high esteem. Uh, Interior. I'm not talking. I'm not talking edge rush. I, I, I know what you mean. I know. I know. I know what you mean. You are talking about clog up the middle? I, I got you. Uh, I haven't seen too many as of lately. I mean, I don't like anybody. Uh, Dalvin Tomlinson, the, the, the kid from the kid from Clemson. What was his name? The, the place with the Giants. What about Leonard Williams? Oh, disgusting. Yeah, he said yeah. Clemson. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was laughable. I, I don't know what he got against Clemson. I, maybe it's something. I don't have anything against Clemson. Clemson. I just have I have everything against actually actually good players who don't have to play in a yeah. game. <laughs> Leonard Williams is twenty five. Leonard Williams is 25? Uh, yeah. Oh, well. Damn, I forgot the Giants got her. I got, no, I got Quinn Williams. I'm going Quinn Williams. Dang, and I, I was going to say going. Chris Jones, but Chris Jones is over 25. He is 25. Uh, A-son, is Ashawn Ro- Robinson, the, the, like I was saying, those two defensive tackles that, that, that play for the for the Redskins? Aren't them boys the, out of Alabama? Aren't the, they? J- Jonathan Payne and uh, – Yeah. Those two defensive tackles they got out of Alabama. Is Allen and Payne or something like that? Or? Yeah, yeah. Bama boys. I just don't think do, I don't think Josh personally Allen. that they better than Matt Ioannidis personally. How about Josh Allen, the defense, the defensive end from uh, Jacksonville? Is he? I, is I he think Max Allen? Crosby is better than uh, Nick Bosa personally. Who? So Max nobody. Crosby. So nobody likes Christian Wilkins. No. Okay. He All went right. to Clemson. Dang, I was gonna say Yannick Yannick Nagagway, but he just turned twenty five. What, what about Dexter Lawrence? I that's said that's nice. Oh, you he's said that's, nice. that's, okay. that's 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 what I was saying. The the, the defense didn't Dexter Lawrence go to I Clemson? Said, I said that. All yeah, the, yeah, that's Clemson, what I, yeah. Dexter Lawrence went to Clemson. Yeah. Yes, that's what I was saying. Him and I, I was thinking on the inside, the only ones I can really think of, young and and kind of making uh, they are going to kind of make. Make a little bit of noise, or those two boys. I think I think the Redskins' defensive line is going to be incredible this year. And you, add, you about Miles Jack? You add Chase Young. You add Chase Young to those I, two. Say, those two Alabama. Now, what boys. Lattimore are you talking about, Don? You talking about the Lattimore? I, I tell you what, I I do like Draymond From Jones. You don't like Miles Jack? I love Miles Jack. Miles Jack I, I, is a yeah. linebacker. I don't think he's twenty four. Twenty four. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Miles I, Jack. I do like Draymond Jones though. What you, what you don't like about Miles Jack, uh, Marcus? No, I no. We were talking about. I, I said interior. Mar- Marcus interior. said that he doesn't like Miles Jack because he's off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. I'm out of the beloved. <laughs> I was so much that question. Oh, the one with the Saints. Hey, Don. No, he... how old is Shadavius White? Before I get out of here, twenty-five. Uh, I looked at my first. Uh, all right, how old is Greedy Williams? Who? He's got to be. He, he was just a rookie last year. He should be 23. I mean, I'm not no, no, this is a award. That's, that that's why he, that don't mean he ain't 25. They come out when they're 24, some of them. I'm in the same. Ben's award 23. Yeah, Kayla, San- Kayla Sanders is pretty good, though. I like uh, Peppers, the uh, the safety. From um from the Jabril Giants, Peppers. Jabril Peppers, yeah, he's, he's a beast. He's a beast, bro. With, with that he, other, he, with the, he's got to stay. On, he's got to stay on. The, he's got to stay on the field, though. Before before I go to this this list of slides, let me just get to this last one right here. And I, I think we all play video games here, so y'all let me know which one was y'all favorite. All right. Being affected today that, that the cover came out. Hey, before we go into that, before we go into that, can we can we name just just name the best special team specialist of all time. Uh, Brian. Mm. What are we talking about? Kicker? We talking about kickers? No, 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 no. We're talking, talking about we're talking about return man. Devin Brian Hester. Mitchell. Devin Hester by far, bro. I gotta He's say the the uh, human justice from uh, Kansas City. Oh, okay, all right. That was a good one. That was a good one, but I'm going with Devin Hester because he got all the records. If my if my man, if what my you man, say, Marcus? Uh, I'm gonna go with 
I'm going to go with either Devin Hester or Dragonfly Jones. Dragonfly Jones? That sounds like the boy to play on Martin. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to – <laughs> he also sounds like a wrestler, but uh, I'm gonna get. I'm I'm gonna go with the. I'm gonna go with my top three. My top three are Deion Sanders, yeah, Devin Hester, and then Eric Metcalf. Oh, you like Ooh, Metcalf. that's the name? I, that's the name I heard. I, I got another one for you. He don't get no credit. No, no. Uh, he don't get too much credit. If you say Dave Joshua, Meggett, I will. Okay, <laughs> Joshua Cribb. Joshua oh, Cribb. Cribb. Jo- I remember Cribb was Cribb. nice. Yeah, Cribs was nice. Cribs was very Cribs nice. nice. Cribs was nice. But, he had absolutely. Uh, you talking about somebody who had absolutely no help? <laughs> he had he absolutely be, zero help. <laughs> he had to play quarterback, all, kick return, nice. wide receiver, running back. <laughs> I've never seen a person in professional football have to play so many positions. That let doesn't me, make that me, makes okay. no sense. So y'all tell me y'all 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 favorite Madden, right? Let me hear that one first. Uh, I, I got, I got, I got two of them. I got two of them. I will. Okay, I got, I got two. Uh, two thousand five. That's when that hit stick. stick. That's when the, that's when the hit, hit stick, stick came out. Yeah, that right. that was hit, I mean, they really made a focus on that shit. Yeah, they really, they really made a focus on uh on defense there. I mean, that hit stick. I mean, you could change the game. But I'll tell you the one that used to drive me crazy the most, and that was the, the one right before it. Michael Vick, that two thousand and four. Uh, Michael yes. Vick. I, yes, that's the best man. Uh, yes. That's the best, best, that's the best man. That's the best man. That's the best one. That's the best one. You're, you're talking about a quarterback on the game. I think he hit like 97 speed. 96. Yeah, he had 96 speed, and you can get it up to 98. Yeah, you yes. can. And, he, and, and I'm telling you, all <clears> the kids <throat> were playing that, and I'm telling you, I mean, it was just like it was – it was it was infuriating playing against Michael Vick. I didn't like the fact that you put a double spot on him and they still couldn't get him. Still couldn't do nothing. I didn't like that at all. Nothing with nothing. They couldn't do nothing. That's the part I didn't like about it all. I want to say 2009. That's when they. Uh, let me see. No, 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 no. no, no. no. It was the highlight that came out the next year. When it when did the quarterback vision come out? Where that's Mike. That's McNabb joint on McNabb. That's McNabb joint. That was whenever. That was whenever you had to like turn your head because like before it's just mash a button, but you had to like actually the receiver had to be in the quarterback's vision to throw accurate. You, if they let you have somebody that ain't had no vision, like Michael Vick, in your vision like a pencil. Interception. Oh, yeah. Interception all day, you know. Interception. What like, you had to do was like, you had to make it look like you was going to one guy and then fake it over to the other one and hope yeah. you don't get sacked. Yeah, I liked and it when was, when you like, could when you turned on when you when you when you snapped the ball on that one there on that Madden two thousand six Peyton Manning vision like as soon as the you whole turned, field is like yep. the whole field just whole lit up field. like yep. a Christmas tree. The yeah. whole when did field. when when did when did they when did they start when you could drop back as a passer, tuck the ball and then and then re 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 bring up the uh, the, the passing options. That, must that was been. it. That, that, must was, that, was that, that was that same. Okay, so that was yeah, cause, too, cause when I had Vic, had I used to, to drop it. back with the passing option and then take off and then pick it back right back up at the last minute and then launch that joint with Vic's arm. Oh my god! Yeah. Ah, Jesus yeah. Christ! Man, you better go use the catch that bitch. And, and I, yeah, and, I, and you know what? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. And, and the, the sad thing about that game was the fact that. As good as Prillis Price was on the game, he was garbage in real life. Mm-hmm. I mean, he was hot mess garbage in real I life. He did nothing, that. nothing remotely close to what he did in Buffalo. I Absolutely did, nothing. That. I, I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. When I when I played with the Madden with McNabb on the front cover, I played with the um, Cincinnati Bengals back then. Every year I had a different Jesus season. Christ I played this when I played with this jerk. When I played with the Madden with a. Uh, uh, What's the boy name? Uh, Carson Palmer, loving bastard. No, no, it wasn't. It wasn't. <clears throat> I love. It was Ocho Cinco. Ocho Cinco. The thing about Ocho Cinco and T.J. Husmanzada, if you threw <coughs> them, a, if you threw them the nine route, TJ, you, put it, you put it in front of them, you could do like a wiggle move and get the corner off you, and then come back and catch it real quick and go out of bounds. But I'm telling you, man, when you go that, I still got some of my ones from the PS One, bro. But these, 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 these here, this, this one here, you know, the one from last year, pro- and then probably like eighteen, and then hey, Marcus, uh, that one you holding, the one with Patrick Mahomes on it. Call me. 
I'm waiting. That was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I didn't heard about you. We, me and you, we got, we, we gonna have to sit down. We gonna have to decide who's gonna play with the Cowboys, though. I already right. said it. I already told you live last time. Rashawn, that. Went. Yeah, Rashawn, went first. Rashawn, I can't even believe you sat there and took that. He said something. I heard about you. What does that mean? What oh, exactly? I went. I went. I went. I went to ask, but they, they, they be making me. Whoa! You do I what? Just, some of them Wax I just, on. Some of them I just, Wax some on. Of them I just hold on to. I just want. Hey, hey man, can I can I ask you a question, Sean? Can I ask you a question? Hey man, how did you how did you get so good at Madden, man? Um, well, you know, I, 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 can, I can tell you. I can tell you. I sat in front of the TV. <laughs> there's there's very other few things that you can do moving the fingers that quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Requiring that level of hand eye coordination. <laughs> <laughs> With that being said, I would like to give a shout out to the On Point Network for letting us. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I, no, real talk though. I got, I was, I had the concept of the game, but it's not. It, I'm a because I'm a, when you want your credit, and I'm gonna give it to you. I'm gonna give it to you the way it's supposed to be given. The thing about the thing about Dennis is, is I didn't read football until I met Dennis. Like I was always good at playing it. I could read the defense in front of me, but I just knew what you was doing. I didn't know what it was. But then it taught me how to really, really read football, and that's how I got good at math. You want, you, you want, you want you, to get really you, mad? Did you teach, did you teach take, Dennis take how to? Old, um, take, take, take one of these old ones down to GameStop, and they tell you, man, I'll give you $5 for it, man. No, not even $5. A dollar fifty cent now. That's how they give you five. I'll give you five dollars credit on Madden 2021. All yeah, right, now, all right. Well, before I get out of this, what's the worst Madden? Uh, the worst Madden is... 2020. Madden 2020 is the worst one. By far. Really? By far, yo. It'd be so much dumb stuff going on on these. Listen, let me tell you something. Madden ain't changed since about 2014. I don't think Madden think changed. About, it's the same the game. Think about uh, Madden, Madden 2002 was the first was the first Madden for PlayStation 2. Oh that's yeah, when that's, when, that's when the graphics went up. Yeah, that's what. That, so I mean, you're talking about a quantum leap as far as gameplay speed, processing speed, so so whatever. So I'm I'm gonna say, uh, you, you know, 2001 was the last year was made for PlayStation One. All right, so all right, I, I got one for you. I'm gonna tell you like Mark, this. This, this is for Madden you, Marcus. needs to partnership with 2K, and it needs to be called Madden by 2K. That's what it needs to be. Because 2K5 was ridiculous. I didn't even play Madden 05 that much because of ESPN 2K5. But Terrell Owens on the we cover, it was ridiculous. We yeah, didn't 2K5 like, was pretty good. And like, that drum was, like and that was only $20. Well, let, me ask y'all, let me ask y'all this. Marcus, this is directly geared towards you and Ron Thomas. Would you rather continue to play Madden or have a team get together and recreate Tech Mobile? Tech <clears throat> Mobile. Man, uh-huh. Tech <laughs> Tech Mobile really is the one that they say Madden is really kind of what revolution. Uh, revolution. No, not at Tech all. Tech Mobile. I don't. Tech I, Mobile. I, I don't. I, I think it was Tech Mobile. I, wait, wait, wait. Who do y'all remember? I got one for you. I got one for you. Remember on Tech Mobile? I played Tech Mobile. Unstoppable. Do y'all remember on Tech Mobile how unstoppable? Marcus yeah. Allen and Bo Jackson were. Bo crazy. Jackson. Oh my God. Bo Jackson was. Crazy. Oh my. It was. It, wait. It was. It wasn't just them two. It was Marcus Jack. It was Marcus Allen, Bo Jackson, uh, and then the Barry Sanders, and then Walter yeah. Payton, and then Walter. Yeah. Payton. Oh. Yeah. That'd be part of two K. Was it be Tech Mobile? And you know who I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you a game that was. Man, nice. wouldn't be able to say nothing if they were to bring hey, that. Marcus, I got one for you. Do you remember yeah. playing game day? I did. Oh, I was just about game to say game. that game, game game day actually started. And they when you hit somebody, when you injure somebody, the lightning bolt come hit them. Yeah, it was I when, remember no, that. You would, it was whenever you would kind of like hit them with your shoulder, and that jar, that jarring hit. Oh my god! I mean, I I wait for it people to get it, and I would it was like a knockout. That. What nothing better than a Tecmo Bowl when that when the ambulance used to come over and kill everybody just to get oh, the that was on Madden too. The ambulance used to come over <laughs> and run everybody up. And then it'd be it'd be funny because on Madden, the, uh, do you hear John Madden said, "Boo, where that truck come from?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got, I got one for y'all. I got one for y'all. Do y'all remember NFL Street? Yeah, well, remember that's that's I remember that. Game. I can't wait for them to bring All those right. games back, bro. I love them. They're yo. never going to bring those em. games back. I love them, yo. Never. This is the best job. Hopping off the uh, wall. Speaking of Madden, that's why I went to that. 
Speaking of Madden, they went ahead and they simulated the season. Mm-hmm. And they think that a oh, certain God. team is going to win the Super Bowl. Well, well, boys, you know what time it is. They get messed up. You know who they think going to win the Super Bowl. The Cowboys. I, don't, I didn't even look at the screen. I know who, who, who they had. Come on. Man. Why they got that? Why they got us playing y'all in the NFC Championship? Though? I don't see that. And I don't see y'all beating the Saints either. What? Why they got the Browns in there? Because the Browns just may go to the playoffs this year. All right, let me read these comments. Let me read these comments. Hold on, hold on. Let me read the comments. Let me read the comments. Let me read the comments. So the Bills lose to the Chargers. The Bills the- oh, lose to the God. Chargers. Yo, why did y'all have Somebody oh, is gosh. at Rick James's house right now smoking that hell of a drug. Because- Andre said hater. Don says Zeke. Sharon says Zeke should be on the list. Andre says, so it's time to shine. Uh, Ricky Bobby said, what up? Sharon said, OMG. Sharon said, stop biting on the D, Devon Stanfield. All right. What? No, mm-hmm. D. That's uh, best. What is stop, Andre talking about? With that huh? what, what was that? Stop biting what? on the V, like the V, South Carolina State University. Stop biting oh. on the V. Because the V comes from Ohio State. That's why. V. It, de- it, absolu- State, it absolutely does not come. See, y'all need to do y'all history. See, so, y'all, you know, you don't. Know, that just goes to show you that I just because you're old doesn't mean that you know about old stuff. I think says Saints. Uh, <laughs> Blaze said, Weezy said, uh, B, I'm like Dante Hall. I'm just throwing up the X. Uh, Dante, Dante Hall, Devin Hester. Deion Sanders, Mitchell was pretty doggone good. Cribs, Dante Hall as well. Brian Mitchell had more yards returned than Hessler, but less TDs. Um, Joshua Belly said 05. QB vision was trash. I thought the QB vision was good. Uh, Ricky Bobby oh, said, I'm still playing Madden 08 on my PSP. Uh, uh, Rona said, hey, Robert. Blaze said, shout out to the Bengals. Ocho Cinco. Um, Dante said cheating S. Hey, Ethan. What's up, y'all? What's going on, Ethan? Uh, what's up, Ethan? Dawn said, what's up? Shout out to Ronald what's Enix. <clears throat> Definitely. Uh, Dante said 2020 is the worst Madden. Uh, there you in go. 2K5, I played the franchise over Madden 2020. Techno Bowl hands down. The Chiefs and Christian Okoye. Oh yeah! Oh, Christian Okoye, about the Christian Nigerian Okoye. nightmare. And Dante, Dante said, "Game Day '96 was nice." Uh, game Day '99, Game Day '99 with Terrell Davis. Oh my goodness, man! And Ramona Dye said, "Rice was good too." Uh, said players will score a TD with the pool hammy. Yeah, they did score a TD with the pool. I forgot about that. Uh, Ricky Bobby said. I just sent Ron, Ron my copy of Joe Montana Quarterback Club, Sega Genesis. Joshua said, never NFL Street was tough. Yeah, uh, one, two, and tech, three. Super Techno Bowl brought a, lot of, brought a lot of more roster to the game. Chiefs and Cowboys will be awesome for the Super Bowl. Deborah says she's waving back. So uh, what I want to say is, how does it feel to see this? I know for Are some you of y'all. Telling me that three teams out the NFC East made the playoffs. Yeah, how about that, Dennis. Th- this entire list because is, uh, is, about, not is about people's ability to inhale crack cocaine and still, <laughs> and still have a job and still have a job. And you know why they have a job? Because everybody's working from home right now. That's so the only they got Detroit. These, these, these the only reason these people have a job. I'm Listen, lost. Hold on, hold on. Uh, there is no way in on God's green earth that Detroit is making the playoffs ever. The Browns got the best record. The Browns. The Browns and oh. Green Bay got the best record so far. I'm My confused. Goodness. No Tampa Bay. Nobody. The, the Buffalo the Bills you, lose a same. game to the, the to the Los the Angeles same. Chargers. Okay, so just hypothetically speaking, the Buffalo Bills lose that game. Josh Allen is getting replaced. No, uh, no, I, I think they're gonna like unless he just has a unless he just has a disastrous playoff. Jesus. 
But it's gonna, yeah, it's gonna be a disaster. Well, no, I, well, if they make the playoffs, he had a halfway decent season. But if he goes in the yeah. playoff and if does, does and tries to pitch it to the tight end or throw it in the triple, oh my gosh, he ain't gonna let that go. Into a hey, let me, let me, let me wait, ask you this. Wait, wait, the Lions wait, 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 Marcus, 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 Marcus. Who's starting quarterback for the Chargers? Who knows. Who's going to be the starting J- Justin Herbert? Probably me. The start, me. The starting, the starting quarterback. Over. Is, wait, wait, wait. It, I, I got, it, I got it, the answer. Tyrod to Taylor, ain't it? Wait, wait, wait. The starting quarterback is the same guy that took Buffalo to his first playoff in seventeen years, ain't it? Yeah. So that's oh. what I'm saying. If the Chargers, if the Chargers are starting Tyrod, and they get to the playoffs against Buffalo and they win, Ooh. everybody in but and I'm not including Josh Allen. Everybody on that coaching staff needs to be fired. Yes, because you you went ahead and let uh, because you let this guy out of this out of the bullpen, swearing up and down he don't need a not not only does he not need a veteran quarterback that does the exact same thing he does with with less arm strength, but then you let him go to a team that beats you in the playoffs. Oh man, everybody needs to get out of there. Everybody got to go. I'm just saying, man. That's what they had, man. Let me uh. Let me introduce y'all to the MVP, Coach of the Year. Patrick Mahomes. No. Did he really get Coach of the Year? <laughs> oh, man, as I told you, simulated. Oh. Oh. It says it at the top. Man, I was going to say, what? Oh, I feel like said. Well, I know, one of those, I know one of those people is correct. What's that? Khalil Mack? Defensive player of the year in the NFC. That, that guy, <laughs> that guy is correct. <laughs> I see, I see Tannehill getting uh, AFC player of the year. I don't. I see Tannehill getting replaced. I know Tannehill's not going nowhere. Okay, I can promise you that Tannehill is y'all. A lot of people don't believe in Tannehill, but you'll see. I don't. I don't believe in Tannehill. I believe in Tannehill like I believe in Santa Claus. You'll see. Wow. And Santa Claus is you know, coming. Yeah, he's, he's coming to town. <laughs> He's coming. He, ain't, he ain't gonna make it out of there if he that? come during if he come during COVID. He gonna be coughing up out of there. Tannehill, he got a bad rep because of because of that. Tannehill got a bad rep because he's trash. And let me just tell you something: the minute that Derrick Henry goes down, and he will go down this year. Oh my gosh! Tan, you will see what Tannehill really is, and we will go. No, 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 no. It's not nice, but it's gonna happen because he takes too many square up hits, and when he goes down. And he will go down, and you will see. You will. Everybody on yeah. this panel will repeat after me in the old Dennis Green fashion. He is who we thought they were. <laughs> he is no, who we no. thought he was. And we let him off the hook. And we let him off the hook. I don't see that, man. I've been. I've been yeah, man, man. What about, okay, okay. What about why y'all feel about the rookies though? Before I get out of here. Oh, uh, um, is that um, CD Lamb? Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, that's okay, yeah. then I'll, I Ooh. no no arguments here then. Oh, uh, all of the, actually all of that looks all of that all of those predictions look excellent actually. The the uh the Justin Herbert pick is a skeptical pick. So wait a minute, if Justin Herbert makes def- offensive rookie of the year, that means that means Tyrod is not Tyrod wasn't the guy. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so. So I'm gonna give you my I, that's, the skeptical, that's, 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 that's the skeptical pick, but other than that, I mean, I. I'll give y'all I, my offensive rookie of the year, and it's not going to be a quarterback. Oh, no. word? Word? No, nope, not Tua. How, yeah. Ready? Yeah. The defensive rookie of the year Clyde, might go to Chase Clyde, Young instead of, uh, oh, boy. Clyde Edwards Hellair. No, he's not getting oh, it. Oh, God. That kidding. ain't Andy Reid one-on-one. He's going to get <sighs> so he's gonna get so, he's gonna get so many easy looks. He's going to get so many easy looks, man. So many easy looks. And How about that? And then he and then he's gonna be splitting time with Damian with Damian Williams where he doesn't have to get beat up. He's gonna be able to make electric plays. And and I see Clyde Edwards Hilaire win. I, I see him winning that award. Clyde Edwards Hilaire is not gonna win the award. The, the award is gonna be if it's in the AFC, it's gonna be between Joe Burrow and probably yes, yeah, between Damn Joe it. Burrow. I'm about to read between, the comments. Hold on. Between Joe Burrow and Tua Tagalo Valoa, if he plays, I think Tua is going to play. 
Uh, Blaze said, what can Tana right. Hill do without a right. ranking? <clears throat> Don said, uh, they're going to run him into a hole. Henry, he talking about. Don said, I'm not sold on Hubert. Blaze said, laughing my butt off. They better put Burrow as rookie of the year. Don said, CD Lamb. Uh, they be- they better watch out for Jerry Judy in Denver because he about to tear Bonus it up. Said, laughing her butt off, four and 12 for the Steelers. <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> yeah, the Dolphins going thirteen and three. Though. Yeah, that's. I told you, there's there's crack involved. There's there's a lot of crack involved. I was told to be careful with that with that phrase. I don't know why. <laughs> good one, Rashawn. Very good one. Very good one. Very good one. As long as, 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 long as I don't have any uh any uh WD forty type uh substances. <laughs> <laughs> I got another I got another candidate for that offensive rookie of the year too. Who else you got? Chase Claypool. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I got another candidate for that offensive rookie of the year since since Marcus Mama said to y'all keep sleeping on Pitt. Blaze said Drew Locke not to be slept on with this year with some major weapons. Uh, Joshua said Green Bay must be making a trade to get Rodgers some more help. Uh, what about Henry Ruggs? Uh, um, Deborah said, I'm snoring on Pitt. Walter Ringfield in the building, he about to have a ball. Is he, is he, Browns, is he, is he, uh, is he, Browns young? with 13 and 3? Henry, Rugg, uh-huh. Henry Ruggs, he didn't he get like stabbed in the thigh or something like that? Is he fully healthy? Is he recovered from that? He got stabbed bruh, in the bruh, thigh. Henry, the Henry Ruggs is from the mud, bro. That stab ain't stopping him. That ain't stopping him. He'll be back. Henry Ruggs, Henry Ruggs might get that AFC uh, rookie of the year. Yeah. I you. like Henry Ruggs a lot, man. I think Henry Ruggs is, was honestly the best coming out of this draft. I called him being the first receiver being drafted. Nobody's going to give me that credit. Whatever. You know. You think Henry you think Henry Ruggs is better than C D Lamb? Yes, I do. And he's better than C D Lamb. He ain't better than Jerry Judy, but he's I'm he's much he's, he's much Judy. faster than Jerry Judy. He's he's fast. He's fast. Uh, he's fast. He's fast and unless unless not. How many times you gonna say it? How many times you gonna say it, Marcus? He's fast. He's fast. He's fast. He's fast. He is fast. Fast. He is. He is fast. Guess what? He's fast. Did you know he's fast? fast. Hey, this, look, this being fast, this being fast is not is not an indicator. We've seen a lot of receivers with with incredible speed. Just not really that him. you know, and then you got you got to look at who he played with in college too. You got you got a first round pick quarterback. Just you got a, you got you got and you got a first round pick teammate that was in your wide receiver core. I mean. And and oh, you, you got good offensive linemen like he's fast. That's it. What, <laughs> what is Tyreek Hill? He's he's fast. But are we you, you, look? That would be his ceiling. But he's not built like Tyreek Hill to be. Wait, 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 wait. That's his ceiling. Tyreek Hill, that's me. Yeah, I'm serious. You said you said that's Henry Ruggs' that's, that's ceiling. That's me. That's his ceiling. You know what his floor is? Hmm. John Ross. John Ross. No, I think Cincinnati. his floor is Deshaun Jackson. I think his floor is Deshaun Jackson. That's what I think. I think his floor is Deshaun Jackson. <clears throat> In Oakland, where they had nobody to throw the ball to. John, didn't we just see this a few years ago? A guy who broke the broke the forty time at the combine. John Ross, he ran like a four two something, and the dude they're trying to trade the guy for some magic beans and some duct tape. That's what they're trying to do. Tell them two different players. Fast guy, two fast different players. Guy. James Jet. Y'all remember James Jet with the with the with the Raiders back in the day? Fast guy. How about why, why are you, why are you bringing up a person who's not even the the most recent example of of speedy receivers? Did you forget, what I'm saying. Did you forget about you DK Metcalf? Receivers. I just gave you the I just gave you the Chris Godwin, Marquise Chris, Goodwin, Chris Godwin, Marquise Goodwin, DK Metcalf. Marquise, are, is Marquise Goodwin is he is he a good receiver? DK be, Metcalf. 
DK Metcalf is a fizz, a freak of nature. DK Metcalf is like two hundred thirty pounds. Marcus, He's like you, Marcus, was DK Metcalf a superstar at Ole Miss? No, eh, no. not at all. Not at all. He no. got in off of his forty time when he blew the forty away, but then he and gets to the uh, NFL. But he he gets to the NFL under the right situation, and next thing you know, ultra productive rookie. Yes, and he's built totally so if, different. So Henry he's Ruggs, built. Henry Ruggs is in Oakland with John Gruden. You Joe. just said you just said it wasn't even it wasn't even three days ago. You just said I love what they're doing uh, in Oakland. I love I the do. team that they're building I in Oakland. If you love it so much, why, why are you not able to see the writing on the wall that this kid this kid is in a great situation? He has nobody to compete with. He's in a great situation. Who's going to be the quarterback of the Raiders? Who we don't cares? Know. It doesn't he's going to be, a, he's gonna be the bailout receiver. Okay. It doesn't, okay. it doesn't okay. matter okay. what that speed. See, see right there, D? Right there, D? I got you. See, it, quarterback play, we, we all know quarterback play doesn't mean much to you because you're a Mitchell Trubisky fan. Quarterback play matters, you, guys. You just you just label you just label me as something. Here we go. I got – I got I'm one a for Mitchell you. Trubisky I got, supporter. I got one for Mitchell you. Trubisky I have one for fan. you, Marcus. I have one for you. Like we just were talking about Ryan Tannehill, right? Now we yeah. do know that the fast, the fastest receiver on his on his receiving core is Khalid Raymond. Now Ryan Tannehill is not that good, but he's seen know how to find Khalid Raymond for a bomb. Uh, actually, the best receiver on the Tennessee. He Titans said the fastest. He said the fastest. He fastest. didn't say the best. I said he did the not fastest. say the best. I said the fastest. Henry then Ruggs, then Henry Ruggs he's, will be the bailout receiver for whoever the quarterback is there. Look, generally, rookie wide receivers oh. don't have great seasons. They don't. What? Say so. Generally, let me let me finish, and I'll give you. The, generally, rookie wide receivers do not come in unless you're a transcendent talent like Randy Moss was. Generally, rookie wide receivers do not come in. And that's why I think that C.D. Lamb and Pro- and Jerry Judy will both have better seasons than Henry Ruggs. Who's the number one on the De- Who's the number one on the Denver Broncos? Jerry Judy. No, uh, Sutton. Sutton. Who's the number one receiver on the Dallas Cowboys? Uh, Amari Cooper. Uh, Amari, Amari Cooper. Cooper. Who's the number one receiver on the Oakland Raiders? Henry Ruggs. Henry Ruggs. Now, <laughs> see, and that's the thing when you're when you're telling the guy to come in. And be the number one receiver. See, You're telling a guy to come in and be the number one receiver with teammates that he's already thrived with. Who are we talking about here? Josh Jacobs. Did you forget about this? Okay, bro. He's going. He's going to fit right in. Listen, let me tell you something. Let me tell you. He's got to be the number one receiver. CD Lamb has to just blend in. CD Lamb just has to blend in and 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 contribute. Same thing with Calvin Ridley Is over. Chris Calvin over good? Same thing with same thing with Calvin Ridley over no. in Atlanta. He wasn't no, right? coming in to be the number no. one. His so he's year, like, his, his like year, Chris Collinsworth is not good, and his dad is. They're going trash. to the next one. Sixty-seven y'all. receptions, a thousand nine yards, and eight touchdowns. His rookie year. Wait, wait. What's what's the argument about? That's what I'm trying to figure out. He what I'm saying is when you have to come in, come he, in he, no, Marcus the doesn't seem to think that Henry Ruggs has any shot at offensive rookie of the year. I don't. I don't. It's not at all. Not at all. Wait, wait, wait. Not at all. Plays for Oakland, right? Yes. Yeah. So that means you have no faith in Derek Carr. No. Or Mariota. Or Mariota for that. None. Time. And that's I what's going to no be his detriment. When you look, I don't care how good of a wide receiver. Actually, wait, hold on, hold on, Marcus. Hold on, Marcus. Hold on, hold on. None we've of us have seen. faith in Marcus Mariota. Please stop bringing his name up. Listen, He's we've actually trash. seen a good season out of Derek Carr. I, I can honestly say that we've actually before the leg injury. Make sure you say that because after the leg injury, his quarterbacks are not the same. We've actually seen this, this will be Derek Carr. La- this will be Derek Carr's last season in Oakland. Count it. Just count it. It's happening. Unless he this balls Derek- out. Unless he balls out. Look, he has the ball. He has the ball to keep his job. Hey, isn't Dace- isn't Jason Witten with Oakland uh, with Vegas now? Yeah, that yep. nobody cares though. Nobody cares yep. though. He just got a coach. I, I'm just, here, I'm man. just saying. You got Jason Witten, you got Josh Jacobs, you got Hunter Renfro, <laughs> Hunter, Hunter, Hunter Renfro, Nelson Aguilar, Jason Garrett, Jay Jones, Jason Terrell Garrett. Williams, and Henry Ruggs. 
When is Jason Garrett going to get on the field whenever you have Darren Waller? Hey, hey, when is he going to get on the field? Hey, hey. When is he going to get on the field? Can I say this, though? Can I say this? Why is Prescott on his list? And let me just say this right here. Um, to Mr. Stanfield, as soon as Little Kim start putting up those numbers, you will never not hear a Little Kim song from me. Every time you call me or page me, I'll be like, hey, then what you doing? I'm listening to Lil' Kim right now. That's what I'm doing. Well, like, look you know. at that. If Nick, look, if Nick Falls leads the league in, pass, in passing yards, wouldn't that mean that Mitchell Trubisky wasn't the starter for the Bears no more? I'm I just, don't need I, him. I don't know. Dennis, would you please reiterate the rules to him? I don't need him to be the starter. <laughs> Started, Look at Ryan's and the hell numbers. He, he, All he has to do is yards, average more passing yards per game per game throughout the season than Josh than, Allen. Than Josh so, Allen. Okay, so for example, if he, he throws, only start three games, if he if he if he throws for four hundred yards in the first game and then gets hurt the second game and never plays another, never down, plays again, that means Josh Allen has to be. <laughs> What's going to happen is he's going to come out there, he's going to have a really good game, and then the next week he's going to throw five interceptions and have two fumbles. And now all of your hopes and dreams will be – So he's going to have seven turnovers, hey, hey, but, Rashawn, not, but not have a 400-yard game and an injury. He's going to have, to have seven thought, turnovers and a good, a good game and seven turnovers the next week. Huh? But he's Rashawn, not gonna, <laughs> yo, I thought – How are you going to say yours is more logical than anybody else's? In the Madden, in the Madden wheelhouse, we're smoking crack. But clearly, Marcus – the alphabets has taken on to the streets of El Paso, met up with the cartel and got their best and cleanest product <laughs> and began doing as Biggie Smalls tells you not to do. Never get high on your own oh, supply. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Ron Thomas. Yes. Do you see who number two on here? Yes, Matt Ryan. Matt Ryan, I don't with believe 44 it. touchdowns. Where is Prescott and the Cowboys won the Super Bowl? I'm confused. Yeah, like I always tell you, you ain't got to be number one on nobody's list to win the Super Bowl. I tell you that all the time. Andy Dalton must have been starting. 5,000 yards is overrated. I tell you all that all the time. Why is Andy Drew Locke Lock up there? <laughs> Why is well, Drew Locke up there? Andy got a QBR 100 on the nose. On the I'm nose. Done. Drew Locke. I'm done with him. That means Ezekiel Elliott must be number one in Russian. He got the. Let's find out. Why is Gardner Minshew up to? Oh my goodness! Why well, was Wilson all the way at the bottom? Oh. Why is Jimmy Garoppolo above four thousand? That's what I want to know. Love it. Maybe somebody start catching the ball. I don't know. Kittle, <laughs> Kittle, go high all them yards. You got to get them the ball so they can catch it. Okay, that's what it makes sense. If Zeke the number one, I ain't mad at it. Look at Alvin Kamara, though, right behind him. Like, oh, right now, behind now him. it makes fumbled. sense. Zeke's got fifteen hundred yards almost. Uh, yeah, now it makes sense. But look now at that fifth sense. guy. Oh, oh, they, they are man. They really smoking crack. Wait, wait, the fifth guy was cool, but now they smoking crack. <laughs> I looked above the fifth hey, guy, and I was you like, see, "You see my man, Mostert down there?" Wait, wait. They got David. You know you know a name that I don't see on there that I've that I heard so much about this whole offseason? Who that? Devin Singletary. I don't see him on there. Oh, my God, man. Devin Singletary's not on that list? Come no, on. He, he make He's the one cut. of the best young backs in the game. He was. He should have been an offensive my rookie of the year last my, year. My, my running back not on here either. Oh, we know that, though. Hey, hey, guys. Hey, guys. I, I, got, I, got, I, I got one thing to say, though. Uh, this list is trash, but I it do is. see one. But I do see one thing that I wanted to point out, especially, especially especially to Marcus. It looks like Joe Mixon is a little bit better than Nick Chubb on this list. <laughs> oh God, I forgot I had that argument with you too. I forgot, but but since we have it, that what a thing, what, what a thing. Well, well, laugh time. Here's the thing, though, Nick Chubb. I think you see uh, his production drop, and it's not because he's not a good back, because they're going to play Kareem Hunt too. Oh, okay, that's so good. But I, I got a good argument. They're going to fumble around Kareem Hunt. Okay, all right. No, I got, no, I got a good gonna, one for you, gonna, Devon, he, he, He's going to split carries with Nick Chubb. So if he still gets close to twelve hundred yards on on a limited set of carries, and he can Yo, stay fresh, Joe Mixon splits he, carries with Giovanni Bernard. Who cares? 
I think it Jim doesn't Brown, matter. Not, not like not like the way it look, look, actually, you, yes, just like that. The, hang on. Are we comparing Giovanni Bernard to Kareem Hunt? Absolutely yes, not. Because Kareem I, Hunt is not the same guy no more. Why you. you keep doing it? Thank you. Why Thank you, you why you say that? Why you, you say Kareem Hunt is not the same guy? Because well, any, because because he Kareem does. Hunt has 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 hit a wall that is similar to the optics of a Kardashian. His and career I mean, is plummeting out of out of relevancy. When did he hit a wall? The minute when that he, he took that, the wall. minute that he, the minute that he took that field goal kick to that young lady in that hotel alley. His, it was like it was like he it was like he had sex with every Kardashian on the on no, earth and and began to plummet his entire career trajectory. Kareem Hunt, Kareem wow. Hunt he lost his job. Kareem Hunt lost his job not because of performance. He lost his job because he he got suspended. The, and y'all, y'all, about y'all, y'all saying he hit a cliff? How do we know that Kareem Hunt hit a cliff? Can I ask you a question, Marcus? You, you don't think if Kareem Wait, hold on, Marcus, Hunt got let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. Kareem Hunt was a free agent, right? Yes. And did anybody else pick him up with the Browns? Why? From his performance, or because they didn't want to deal with the they didn't want to deal with the PR nightmare? Ain't, ain't so what you're saying? So what you're fun? saying is that the only reason that Cleveland picked him up was because they had nothing to lose. Is that what you're saying? It's the Cleveland Browns. No, no. Hold, I, I, I need to understand where you because so, you about so, because so, you about to put yourself in the corner. So Cleveland. Because their their franchise is so trash that right. they and, had and nothing their, to and lose, their, come here, and, and, and they picked and up a, they picked up they picked up a Dorsey. much needed running back, right? Because Kareem, uh, because because if Kareem if Dorsey. Nick Chubb is as good as you think he is, then you have no need for for a a running back the caliber of Kareem Hunt. Okay, why why does with the Antonio media story. Brown have a job? Why doesn't Antonio Brown have a job? Because Anto- because 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 Antonio Brown, unlike Kareem Hunt, is a locker room psycho. Yo, Julio Jones got thirteen touchdowns. I would okay. be so hyped. What I'm saying is, Kareem a locker Hunt, room psycho. If that video hadn't ever surfaced of Kareem Hunt, we might be talking about the Kansas City Chiefs as back to back Super Bowl champions. And Dennis, where well, my put Thomas at? At the bottom, who the Yo Jones at? Julio Jones is right there with thirteen touchdowns. All right, I rest my case. That's the most touchdowns he had in about five years. No, uh, uh, that's more valid. That's the more validation that this this list is crack. Uh, they got <laughs> no. Julian Edelman with twelve hundred. Yeah, how? <laughs> in what realm of life is this? The Lord of the Rings? <laughs> Did anybody else notice that he skipped by Anthony Miller? And went to Julian Edelman. I Anybody? did. I did because some people are not worth <laughs> mentioning. <laughs> they got really sneeze. All right. I got one more to show y'all. This, this is the one <laughs> that threw me off. This Yo, one. is Harry Potter <laughs> making these lists? Oh, no. Wait. Well, no, 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 no. I, I know what it is. I know what it is. Somebody took the blue pill. And took their favorite <laughs> players into the matrix. <laughs> oh no, who am I doing this? Now check this out. Not that blue pill, uh, Rashawn. Relax. <laughs> Relax. Look, Rashawn, put down your stimulants and and and, and stop putting up C Max uh entire uh vitamin supplements. <laughs> 27 and a half sex? You gotta be kidding me. So, he, uh, so, so I'm so Miles sick and tired of dropping water on my dang laptop. <laughs> so, my, so Miles Garrett's gonna break the all-time single season rushing uh, uh, single season sack record from uh, Michael Strahan, basically. If he gets some help on the other side, what, what the record is? Twenty four, right? Uh, I thought it was. I thought it was twenty two and a half. half. I thought it was 18. It's 23. The, record the only is way that right? Miles Garrett is breaking that record is if he plays uh, Pittsburgh every week. Yeah, that's a fact. Let me say something about his mom. Hey, yo, I just put that to- <laughs> <laughs> You're not right, man. That's a fact. I believe it. No. Say something, I'm say something about it, his mom. I'm about, I'm about <laughs> yo, I just put that together, man. Oh, that was terrible. Oh, man. All right, who wins the MVP this year? 
I mean, who's my fault? Who's the one, the top ranked player out of the 100 ranked players? Which is something I think we should do as the Rise Up family. We should put our own 100 together. So wait a minute. So wait a minute. This is real. So Cam Newton was actually number one player one time. Yeah, yeah, he had. Uh, MVP. So, so Ryan, don't ever talk to me about no Kaepernick. You be quiet. Ever in your life, talk you to me about quiet. no Kaepernick. If Kaepernick ain't never grace the number one spot on a list like that, you be quiet. Talking about okay. Kaepernick, better than, about better than Cam. Come on, Kaepernick, better than Cam. Yeah, what well about that? So who y'all think gonna be the number one player this year? You think it's gonna be Lamar? No. No. Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes is not the best player in the NFL, bro. He he definitely top five. He is, he is top I, five. He definitely he top, top two. I actually think He's that the, top I, two. I actually think that the best player last year, number one, was not Aaron Donald. I actually think that the best player in the NFL last year was actually Russell Wilson. But he was, had 20 seconds last year? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. And, 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 and I'm not and I'm, and I'm not and, and, and I'm not trying to take anything away from Aaron Donald. I Aaron Donald's crazy, bro. I think he's a freak. I think he's outstanding. But what Russell West, what, what Russell Wilson was able to accomplish last year with that team, man. Okay. I was about to say we do Whenever not care about Russell Westbrook wearing, bro. He's about to talk about it. And, and, and he did all of that stuff with 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 Sierra at home. Do you know what type of you know what type of of, of discipline you have to have knowing that you got Wait, that at home to actually play good about? games? I just thought about that because that, that did not work for Grant Hill. Grant Hill quit it's, the, it's virgin, quit the NBA for three years. He's a virgin, bro. That's that's why Russell Wilson got that off. So you call him Russell Wilson, AC Green? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. Dennis, don't walk away. No, 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 don't don't walk, don't walk away now, Dennis. Oh, it ain't hard when you ain't never had it. You know what I mean? So, so, so Russell Wilson no, is Tim, is Tim no Tebow with accuracy in a nine, right? That's what you said. No pun intended. Yeah, yeah, it's true. You said, is he, you said, don't, don't come to my quarterback, bro. Let me let you know something. I'm a Florida fan first. Don't you do that. Don't do that. Don't come at Tebow. Tebow was never given a fair chance, number one. Tebow wasn't what? given a fair chance. You said Tebow no. wasn't given a fair chance. I do. No. What I do. are you? Okay. No. Okay. I, I know. I know what happened. I know what happened. Marcus, stop inviting. Just because Rashawn is a Dallas Cowboys fan does not mean you get Bruh. to invite him to the cartel parties. Okay. Bruh. Stop Bruh. it. Bruh. Stop Bruh. it, dude. Let's let's talk about Tebow then. Let's talk about Tebow. Tebow from from going to the playoffs with the team who were bums before he even got in the game. Because he's the whole reason why they get to the playoffs. I believe they what? what? Tebow they is the reason straight. they got to the playoffs? They won 8 9 straight when he start, started. Let right? me know when y'all ready for me to talk about Tebow. Because, huh? they, did, because, because they did with Tebow what they should have been done, doing all year, which is running the football. But Tebow's the starting quarterback, right? Ah, man. What's Tebow? So when they lose, the quarterback gets the loss. But when they win, it's not his fault. That's I'm not. I'm not saying. I, listen, I am not saying that Tim Tebow didn't do some good things. Okay. What I am so saying we, is when you go not three. Say didn't get fired for nothing. Listen, what I am saying is when you go three for seventeen in a game, and your QBR is a negative four, even though you got the W, that doesn't make you a good quarterback. Exactly, because because I'm going to use my, my analogy. You know what analogy I'm going to use, right, Dennis? Because you don't get you don't get credit, get credit for putting out fires, fires that you started. He you didn't get start that fire. If I yes, he did. Fire, the two I, interceptions. They were losing. Listen, they were losing the game before he started quarterback. Start, That's the point. If you start the game off three of seventeen for twenty-one you yards, you don't get credit. For putting out fires that you started, the reason can I, can I, ask, can I ask the question? The reason, the reason, the reason, wait, wait, wait! Before you ask the question, can I ask the question? Sure, because I because I think I remember this year. That, and, and tell me when I'm wrong, because I I don't like to be wrong on FCC. So tell me when I'm wrong. Was it the Denver Broncos zero and six before Tebow got there? Before no. Tebow got there? no, 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 no. It was zero and six. No, no, no. They, they were not in playoff contention. They, at no, home. they they weren't in playoff contention. I think they were two and four. They were, they were two weren't in playoff contention. They weren't in playoff contention at all. But I think they had. I think they had won like one or two games before Tebow took over. And who was the quarterback? 
Who cares? Kyle Orton. Kyle Orton. Okay, Kyle Orton. Okay, that's, I just wanted to make sure. All right. So, they they two and four. And it ain't like they played a bunch of easy teams after that. You know, they, they really had to start winning. And they went on a winning streak to get him to the play to get to the playoffs, right? Yeah. And won the playoff game. No, wait, wait, no, no, no. Say, wait, 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 wait. Say what you said the first time in your sentence to get him to the playoffs, right? To that's what you said, right? To the playoffs. No, 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 no. That's not what you said. You didn't I say meant them. to say them. I meant to say them. But what you say? What you say? It's a team sport. But what, what did you say? Oh, <laughs> now it's a team him, sport. But I meant to say them. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Now it's a team sport. To get oh, them oh. To the, to get them to the playoffs. And I, I get so sick and tired of these convenient arguments. No, no, wait, wait, listen, listen, listen. To get them to the playoffs. Now, listen what I'm saying. He didn't have no easy run. Who did he play in the playoffs? The defending champion? Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. He played the defending champion, right? Champions. The defending he played Pittsburgh that year. Champions. He played Pittsburgh, and then the next week they got blown out. And the, 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 the next week, out. it wasn't even his fault. The next week, he came down on the first drive and scored a touchdown. Yeah, on the first the drive. Thing. But here's okay. the thing, though. Hey, Dennis, here's the thing. Me, hey, hey, Where's Dennis, the difference hey, between Tebow and Romo? Hey, he hey, went Dennis. out and went to the second round just, and went home. Just out of, just out of curiosity. I, I, just, you know, next time you bring up Romo, you lost. I'll let you know that right now. Hey, Dennis, just out of pure in curiosity, playoffs, can I ask you one question? Him and, him and Romo is like this. In, in the playoffs? We talk Dennis, about playoffs, just Dennis. One, not just, regular season. Just one question. All right, go ahead. Then we're going to let Ron get to his questions. Go ahead. The game that you the, the game that is in question that we're talking about against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Right. Were they fully stacked at defense? Oh my God. Y'all got so yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. They was missing a uh, they was missing a, a, a safety that uh yeah, a, 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 a pretty significant safety, right? He ain't Ryan, pretty cool. Ryan Clark he didn't get he the ain't top ten, he ain't top ten in them two years. But Stop. They had, but no, no, it was Dennis. It was a we talking about Ryan team. Clark. Yes, that, that safety duo. First of all, you're not going to disrespect my frat brother on the air. That's no, I, I am I'm not saying He's my top himself. 10 in the two years. Stop saying that. I'm not saying I'm not saying Ryan Clark alone, but I'm saying that 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 uh safety duo was in Polamalu oh, and Ryan Clark. Steelers that year, I go to Mile High, Ryan Clark can't breathe too good, and then I'm going to automatically beat him, right? I ain't really got to be Ryan Clark has sickle cell, right? Yeah, sickle cell anemia, correct? Yeah, yeah. So it's not that it's not that he can't breathe too well. It's when he gets up to those elements, his blood cells sickle, and then he can barely function. His 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 organs start shutting down. So let's not minimize that. All right, we're well, not gonna minimize that. But this okay. is what I am gonna minimize. If the Steelers would have won more games that year, they probably would have been playing at home. Um, he was playing at home. Right. Okay. And I was right. The, the the Denver Broncos were two and four when, <laughs> when Tebow came in, and Tebow came in and went. I mean, yeah, he came in and went seven and four for the remainder of the season. Shout. Now, now, Shout. Uh, now, what what I what I will say about this is that, like, which was what I was alluding to in the game uh, earlier in the conversation, is that Tebow did some some very good things during the season. Yeah, fire for no reason. Some very very good good very good things during the season. <laughs> One of those horrible things that he did not that he did did not get a chance to overcome was losing to the Buffalo Bills forty to fourteen. But I do remember <laughs> him playing another team that was stacked on defense, and all he had to do was run the ball. But yet, Marion Barber. If you bring up my Chicago Bears, I'll drop kick you. Now, now I'm moving on. Yeah, whatever. Moving on. Who hit him like that? Was that was that Brian Dawkins? I think it was Matt Dogan. <sighs> Moving he's on. Marry the barbarian. He wasn't. He wasn't. Mary Barber wasn't. He wasn't nothing after he left us. Moving on. Like, you know. uh, now, as I get back to my points. Nothing. We talked about we talked about the offense, right? Now let's talk. I mean, we talked about the defense, right? Let's yeah. talk about the offense. Did Le'Veon Bell play in that game? Just out of curiosity. Oh my god. Le'Veon Bell was crazy. there. That was 2008. Le'Veon Bell wasn't in no 2008. That was like 2008, 2009. They got Bell one So, so, so that uh, means Isaac Redman was the feature back. Yeah, because Ray Lewis, I think, killed uh, uh, Rashard Perriman. Am I saying what was what was the name? Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right, Rashard Perriman. Yep. Yeah, he, he killed him. Yeah. So, so there. So, so you mean to tell me that their that their backup running back was in the game? He still had 17 for 121. Did Tebow play defense? Oh my goodness. Did, did Tebow play defense? 
Uh, just one, I'm just wondering. Because we talking about Tim Tebow hey, playing football. I got one for you because a lot of Steelers fans say this. Was, was, was Big Ben playing? Yeah, he did. Oh, okay. They always he, say he had, a, he had, he had, had a, a best chance. He had, he, 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 had a lack, he had a lackluster game, twenty two for forty two eighty nine, one one touchdown, one interception. But he but, but he but 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 this is my point. He was sacked five times for forty five yards and losses. Who? Tebow? No, Big Ben. Oh, okay. So let me ask you a question, right? T- Tim Tebow would have to drop back to pass in order to be sacked. Palomalo was not one hundred percent. Same, same but one thing question. that we noticed about Palomalo once he got older, if you open up the if if you open up the field, he couldn't guard nobody once he got older. Nah, I, mean, I mean, old old is old. Okay, that's but fair. let me ask you a, let me ask you a question, Sam. So. That's how Green Bay beat the Steelers in the championship. So I'm after, listening, Rashawn. I'm listening. After Rashawn. going after going seven and four as a starting quarterback, not only do you get fired, but they send you to the quarterback graveyard. That's fair. <laughs> and you're going to sit here and tell me that Tebow had a fair shot when they tried to do the same thing the Broncos did to him. They waited until Geno Smith just stunk the, stunk the, just stuck the stadium up and then go, you know what? This dude is used from playing from behind. Let's play him in and see what we can do. And then he stink it up. Now he got to lead the NFL. Yeah, because they don't have they don't have they, and that's fair because they didn't have y'all call it a fair shake. No, no, no. I'm I'm saying that's fair. fair. That that conversation piece is fair because he didn't have nearly the defense that they had in Denver. But what? But didn't what, they still have? But didn't what, they but still what, have what, Sanchez at that time? Yeah. Did they still have yeah. that Sanchez? I'm pretty sure. Sh- I'm pretty sure they had somebody somebody who was a bum. They um, had three quarterbacks. They had Sanchez, Geno Smith, and him, and Tebow at the time, I believe. Three bums. And they might have been. They might have been. Desperate enough to bring Chad Pennington back, but that's not the point. I remember, Vic went over there. <laughs> Vic did go over there. Vic went over there instead of Buffalo. Mistake. Um, no. Uh, so here's the thing. Here, here's the, my bad. final comment on this. Tim Tebow had a shot in New England. Did we forget about that? What shot? What shot? They what brought shot? him in. The, they brought him into the camp. They let him. They they let him play, didn't they? They brought him in no. the camp in Philadelphia too. What you trying to say? Shot. He obviously, shot. I, obviously, some people feel like he wasn't deserving you of the who? opportunity to play let me tell quarterback. You who? Let me tell you who? probably the, the, the probably one of the best, if not the best, coach to ever to ever coach in the game of football. Bill Belichick. No, no, he was already messed up before then by a man known by the name of John Elway. John oh, Elway God. hated Tim Tebow, blackball That's- Tim Tebow. That's why he was why? ended up on the why? Because, why? Because he I loved Jesus. Because he saw him at practice. Because he, <laughs> he saw him at practice. practice. He saw him at practice. Tell him again, Ryan. Tell him again, Ryan. Bro. Hey, hey, hold on, hold on, y'all. Hold on, hold up. We do got to get to these questions. Ryan, let me get let me get them questions, man. Give me, give me at least two of them. Do you think a college kid should leave college after that first season? In the NFL? NFL, NFL. Going to the NFL. Hell no. You can't, you can't do it in the NFL, though. No, no, no. It, it, you it's not, it's not, hell no. Not you got to be upper class. You got to be upper class. Yeah. Y'all really believe that you got to play two years at college football? Hell I believe yeah. You, I believe you do. You yeah. really believe that? I don't know. Yeah, you. Absolutely. That's a rule. You have to. No, it's I mean, a rule. No, 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 no. He's saying, he's saying, he's saying, he's saying, he's saying should the rule be up for, for, for changing? And I'm saying... Right. And I'm saying no, no. that 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 unlike unlike MLB soccer, uh, unlike the soccer, un- unlike Major League Soccer, Major League Baseball, Major League Basketball, if you go to the NFL early, you no. could get killed. Fletcher Cox went out okay. literally. We no, see literally. Like Fletcher literally. Cox went out literally. Like literally. Say no, ain't Kevin Johnson. Johnson. So how Fletcher Cox get to the NFL? Where you get your from? Uh, I think Fletcher Cox went to JUCO first, didn't he? He went to JUCO and then went to the NFL. Yeah, I, I, I want to say because if you go look it up, it only it only says it's high school. It, it doesn't say no college. Well, it, you it have says to be, high yeah, I, I want to say just like just like Cam Newton, he went to JUCO and then went straight to the NFL. Well, Cam Newton no, did play one he, year at Auburn, but one year at Auburn, yes. But Fletcher Cox didn't play nowhere. Be, you, you have to be two. You have to be two years removed from uh, high school. Look, man, you, you you're 20 years old, and you're playing against grown men with mortgages and wives and kids. And you might be big, but the, 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 the maturity 
You ain't really got but your name. But okay, that don't. That don't State. What I'm trying to tell you is, is what I'm trying to say is. Fletcher Cox played at Mississippi State. Mississippi State. I said at Mississippi State for if, college. If you let a rookie take your job, then you don't deserve to be in the NFL no more. Yes or no, more. It's not about. It's not about. It's not yes about. Yes or no, more. It's about. No, not really. It's just a, you don't deserve it's to be your, starter. It's, a, it's about your. You're a rookie offensive lineman practicing against J.J. Watt getting okay. beat up. You're going to get yeah. beat up, though. You're going to get beat up if you come there two years later. Right. Either way, you're going to get beat up. Hold on, hold on, Marcus. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. Let, let's get this straight. Everybody on this panel played football. So you mean to tell me that it's certain guys that you're telling me that after one year, they wouldn't have made it in the NFL? After one year of college? Like one year. There, yeah, there but are, let's okay. Hold up, hold up. I'm gonna take the main guy to no try problem. it. I would have no problem playing this. Play, I would have no problem uh, changing these rules if we could deem the if we could deem like the XFL or like the CFL as a minor league that as Barn a minor Chris, league uh, a Barn minor league Chris. funnel where you could go and get yes. the professional experience and they make sure yeah. that you are yeah. of the physical capability. To yeah. take it to the next level, we're not talking about mental. Yeah. We're talking about strictly physical. Because let's be yeah. clear, everybody yeah. is not Marcel Darius. Everybody is not a uh, 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 what's his name, Leonard Fournette. Uh, everybody is not ready for that level of physicality. Okay. No I'm, matter let's, how talented. Okay, you are. Let's just say, no, wait, wait, wait. I got the guy. I got the guy. Wait a let's let's go back to the boy from Ohio State about fifteen. I want to say 15, 16 years ago. I can't Maurice remember. Claret. I just I said that. I said Maurice Claret. Maurice Claret. Yeah, I said everybody's not him. Maurice Claret was clearly ready to play football uh, physically. He was not ready to play football mentally. mentally. Well, it wasn't just that. The, the reason that Maurice Claret didn't make it because because when he got to the pro at his pro day, he ran a four eight forty as a running back. Yeah, well, we knew we we knew he was going to mess that up. What if? Okay, okay. Well, that, that, that 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 alludes to my point. Maurice Claret is the only person that dropped out of college early. He's literally the only person that dropped out of college early, uh, with the intentions on getting to the NFL. Was denied for the first year, obviously, and then when yeah. he came up on when he came up on his second year, it was terrible. His 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 his. his, his, his I don't want to call Terrible. people by their name, and I'm and I, I need to stop people calling people trash. I need to say you're trash in the context of who your who your peers are. But uh, Maurice Claret is the only person that, that in Maurice his Claret. camp, he no, I don't. Uh, he's the only person who in his camp did not keep his personal training regimen and personal trainers around throughout the entire time that that it was necessary for him to get to that to the point where he could be drafted. So when the pro day came around, not only was he not only was he not physically ready, he also was still not not mentally ready, which was evident by the simple fact that his that he got expelled from school for some for some felonious activity. I'm, okay, I'm, now I'm, let me ask, let me ask this next question right felonious here. Felonious activity. Let me ask this next question right here. All right, when it when it comes to Nick Bosa, right? He played a year, and then he sat a year. Okay. Why couldn't he just go straight to the NFL at the end? You think? Do you think Jadavion Every, Clowney could have went straight? I'm, I'm not. I'm not going with Jadavion. I'm talking about. We just okay. talking about straight Nick Bosa right now. I ain't. I ain't. I ain't, I ain't mentioned Jadavion. Ethan, shut up. Okay. Uh, no. <laughs> no. You're playing against. <laughs> so you, okay. Yeah. So that year of him just sitting around. Our 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 point is everybody is not that you should you should have to go. I'm not saying you should have to go through a minor league professional league where you can be called up, similar to what baseball has. Wait a minute, I'm not saying everybody. Right, that's why when you okay, just like in basketball, that's what that's what we're saying. We're saying that there's. Not only that is one kind of the physicality. No, pretty much everybody. But I'm just not. I don't want to say basketball and physical. I just want to say I'm not putting the physicality together. I'm not putting that together. You can't use basketball though. No, no, no. I'm not. I'm not putting it together. I'm just saying after one year, people go ahead and go up. But it's not everybody that does it after one year. No, everybody pretty much does. As 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 even as a spectator, would you agree that the speed of the game? In football and in bass uh, in football from college to the NFL is astronomically different. Yes. yes. Okay. 
So if we are talking about collisions that literally happen at 34 to 40 miles per hour at guys who are literally twice the size that they were in the 80s and 70s, Ugh. what the hell do you think a person like CeeDee Lamb coming into coming into the NFL after his freshman year is is going to be exposed to it's 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 not realistic and i and 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 i'm i'm using I use, CD Lamb, I, use, I use cd lamb because i think everybody on this panel can agree that he is a special talent well, correct well, he is little well, he very special he, but he is little he is and so little. what i mean by that is if we're going to change the rule there needs to be some type of minor league step up where you can still get paid because I think these players should be getting paid. They should get uh, paid for this. Uh, there should be a minor league step up, be it the CFL or, or or the XFL or whatever minor league step up that you want to put in place one year. where they can go there and play and actually be called up from that platform if they're ready. And the people that are coaching on those platforms, just like the XFL and, and the other league was uh, doing, should be should be consumed with NFL scouts and coaches that can properly evaluate that stuff because these are people's lives that you have in your hands. Yeah. It's not it's look, if you if you get embarrassed <clears throat> in basketball, somebody dunked on you. Okay. In football, like like the mom was saying, you can get killed. You get well, right, I, I, over. But you but you see some of the get, wait a minute, wait a minute. we all see some get killed in no, basketball. I don't we listen. listen we had a conversation. A wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. We had a conversation about guys. I'm gonna say it. I've had a conversation about guys that I seen on roids and look stupid out there on the field and they, and almost got themselves killed. They can lift everything, they can lift everything in the weight room, they can be, be a physical specimen. But when it comes down to them doing what they need to do on the field, they are the dumbest thing you ever seen. And we've all seen somebody like that. And I'm yep, not gonna put words in it. I'm just gonna say Michael this Mamula. Here's what here's what, here's what, I'm, here's what I'm saying. Mike here's what I'm saying. Mike Mamula. Oh. Here, <laughs> here's what I'm saying on that whole thing. <laughs> in regards to in regards to basketball, it's so not saying easier, but it's like I'm for, not it's less physical. Place. For somebody it's to compete. For somebody player. to compete. For somebody that can but it also takes a lot of other things for basketball too. Like if you're a dead eye, you're accurate, just an accurate person like Steph Curry, then you're gonna be a problem. It doesn't matter how big or small you are as long as you have a niche. Football, you can't have no niche. I don't see no niches happening. That's just that's mono e mono unless you, man, you know man. you know who can go straight to the NFL after <laughs> like, freshman like, year? Who? Kickers and punters. That's it. <laughs> and even them, if you got to kick that ball off for an actual kickoff, not yeah. to run down that field, you better watch your entire life. No, <laughs> no, 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 one no, block no, could no, end no, it. You know who I wouldn't have an issue with them being able to, to move up after one year? I would say one and done. Oh. Running back. Running back. No, hell no. Why? What? Because, they, because, they back, because y'all run into the dirt back, anyway. Your prime, your prime is a running back. They do. They run into the dirt. How many years? Your early years. How many years do you need a running these, back? These running back, some of these running backs, that's why they That's why they look so terrible by the time yeah, they like get to the league. Left, they just ran left. them into the ground like for three but years. No, and but Marcus, that goes back to what you said, Marcus. bro. Like, that mean, running back to me is not a power back. You're not going to sit here and tell me that no freshman skank back you're going to push into the NFL. Absolutely right. no. Did you say a freshman skank back? It's not the same, oh, as, not oh, the same okay. as an offensive right. or a defensive lineman who are basically in, in hand-to-hand combat every play. A running back, too. No, a running I don't, back. I don't know that I would have a, a I don't know that I would have a huge issue with some of the offensive linemen. Defensive mm-hmm. linemen, I would, I would. Cornerbacks would, would be the only ones that I would say. How long is a running back mm-hmm. in the league in the National Football I, You know what, Rashawn, you you bring up a good point about the quarter about the quarterbacks. You bring up a good point because quarterbacks don't get hit every play, and on top of that, um, most quarterbacks go to the NFL and sit anyway. So I, I that's that's actually and corners a, too corners because they're corners. not getting hit. Because they're not that's that's actually a good point. Although although that they was do, a full context for it. They 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 do subject themselves, they do sacrifice their bodies I, I, I played on, 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 on at least about 20% of the 20% of the, the plays. As a matter of fact, I played play. this sport for a long time. Go ahead. So yeah, uh what'd you say? We about two minutes away, Dennis? 
Uh, we got one minute, so y'all can go ahead and wrap it up. All right, man. Right, That's what she said. Thanks for inviting me for the show tonight. I, I purposely wore my teal shirt because I wanted to uh, big up to attack with Voe and the, the Miami Dolphins. Uh, shout out I'm to you. Like his cousin. And shout out. And, and, and the only reason I'm saying that is because uh, it was word was given that he gave three hundred thousand dollars in scholarships this week. So shout out to you, man. Big up to, that was, that was, big up to the Alabama guy. Big up to you, man. I, I really don't like Bama that much, but that was beautiful. Yeah. That was beautiful. Uh, I can't stand Bama. Bama. I hate him. Uh, I'm so a Florida fan, baby. Thing, I want to thank y'all again for coming. A lot out. of people hate winners, Ron. Um, <laughs> I want to thank uh, Marcus, Max, Rashawn Jackson, Don- Donovan Stanfield. Donovan what? Uh, my, my co-host of all time. Me Donovan Stanfield? I'm, the, I'm sorry. Donovan. Divine Stanfield, I said Donovan. Jesus Christ. Divine oh, Stanfield. No. <laughs> so at, at, my, at my co-host of all time, Ryan Thomas, again, this has been Talk to You Tuesday. Uh, God bless. Good night.